part 5 of Visual Studio Tips tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss immediate window in Visual Studio. Immediate window is very helpful during debugging to evaluate expressions, execute statements, and print variable values. There are several ways to get to immediate window in Visual Studio. One way is by using the command window. We discussed command window in detail in part 4 of this video series. So to get to command window in Visual Studio, we click view, other windows, and then command window. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut control wa. Once we are within the command window, type the command immed for immediate window and then press enter. Notice that we are now within immediate window. Now to get back to the command window, type the angular bracket and then the command cmd. Now once we press enter, notice that we are back in the command window. The other way to get to immediate window is by using the Visual Studio menu. So from the debug menu, select windows and then immediate window or use the keyboard shortcut control di. Now the Visual Studio commands that we can execute in command window are also supported within immediate window but you should use angular bracket. Now look at this. To get to command window from the immediate window, we type this command cmd. Okay? Now if I don't use the angular bracket and then simply type the command like this cmd and then press enter, look at that, we get an error. The name cmd does not exist in the current context. But if we use the angular bracket and then press enter, look at that, we get back to the um, you know command window. That command gets executed successfully. Now if you want to cycle between the commands that you have typed within the immediate window, you can use up and down arrow keys. Alright. Now for example, to get to the open file dialog box from command window, we type the command OF and then press enter. OF is the alias for open file dialog. Okay, so that commands get executed and then it opens up this uh, open file dialog box. Now, if we want to execute that command from the immediate window, then we have to type the angular bracket first and then type OF. And then that opens up the open file dialog. So if you want to use any of the Visual Studio commands, you know, then you use the angular bracket. Immediate window also supports the execution of a function at design time. Let's understand what we mean by this statement with an example. Now we have a simple console application here and if you look at this application, we've got this print sum function. Okay, and this print sum function um, all it does is it has got three parameters, n1, n2, n3, that is three numbers, and this function is going to add those three numbers and then return their sum. And within the main method, we are actually calling this function, okay, and passing one, two, three, and then holding the sum in this variable and printing out the sum, okay. Now, at design time, while I'm writing this program, you know, I want to execute this function, okay. That's, you know, one of the reasons why we can use an immediate window. Without running the actual application, we can simply execute this function. Okay, so if I want to execute this function, then I use question mark and then the name of the function. Now this function expects three bar parameters, uh, three integer parameters, so we need to supply the respective arguments. So let's pass one comma two comma three and then press enter. Look at that the function is executed and it prints the sum of those three numbers, number six. Okay, so immediate window supports function execution at design time. But in reality, most of the time, we use immediate window at runtime during debugging to inspect, change, and print variable values. Let's understand what we mean by that statement. Now, let's actually run this console application, but before that, let's put a breakpoint within this uh, print sum function and then run this program within the debug mode. So obviously since we have a breakpoint there, it's going to stop the execution at that um, you know, breakpoint. Now let's press Control di the keyboard shortcut, to get to the immediate window. Now I want to find out what is the value of uh, you know, this parameter n1. To achieve that from within the immediate window, type question mark and then 
type the name of the variable in this case n1 once I press enter look at that the value that is present within n is 1 if you want to find out the value of n3 type n3 and then press enter look at that the value that is present in n3 is 3 because look at this this function is called from here and we are passing 1 2 and 3 um, for n1 n2 and n3 variables okay so we have just seen how to print um, you know the values of the variables now we can also evaluate expressions now I want to check if n1 value is equal to 1 how do I do that the equality operator in, v in C sharp is double equals um, so double equals 1 so we want to evaluate that expression so when I press enter look at that it prints true saying n1 equals 1 on the other hand I want to check if n1 value is equal to n2 value how do I do that again n1 double equals n2 look at that it prints false why is that because n1 value is 1 n2 value is 2 they are not equal so that expression has evaluated to false now I want to find out the sum of n1 and n3 so how do I do that simply pass that expression n1 plus n3 look at that it prints the sum of those two numbers now let's say I want to change the value of a specific variable let's say I want to change the value of n1 from 1 to 10 without rerunning the program so I can do that using immediate vendor so question mark n1 equals 10 when I do that it has now changed the value of n to 10 uh, let's verify that so question mark n1 should print the value back look at that n1 value is 10 okay now so at the moment n1 value is 10 n2 is 2 n3 is 3 so 10 plus 2 plus 3 15 so when we press F10 and then inspect the value of this variable sum look at that it is 15 so using immediate vendor we can inspect the values of these variables we can print their values we can evaluate expressions we can change the values if required so definitely a very useful tool during debugging and uh, uh, IntelliSense is also available within immediate vendor so for example you know if if the code within this page is large and you don't remember the names of the variables and if you want for example IntelliSense look at this IntelliSense is supported as well um, when I type N and then press control space look at that there are three variables with which starts uh, whose name starts with N N1, N2, N3 all of them are listed there whatever you want pick that press enter and you get to see the value of that variable alright that's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.